Yo guys, what's up? And today we're just gonna be um, or I'm gonna be commentating over some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. And yeah, this is um definitely not my first game. I wanted to record my first game, but I couldn't because I was sick and I was so mad about that because I wanted to get this game. I wanted to make a bunch of videos that same day, just get everything rolling, cool stuff like that, getting good gameplays and whatnot. But today is the first gameplay that I did record, and I did actually get some um, I did pretty decent in this game. I did one like 30 and 15 or something like that. I don't know. I did pretty good, but it's a uh, pretty action packed gameplay, and I hope you enjoy that in the background. At least at first it's not, and then it kind of heats up a little bit to get some action in it. But I used the AK 12 with the silencer, I believe, and it's on the map like Stormfront, something like that. I, I don't know, something like that. But it's good, good, good gameplay, and I hope you guys enjoy that. So, what I want to talk about in this commentary is Call of Duty Ghosts in general, and. If you should get it, what what it's like, kind of, and if you can't get kind of what it's like through this, or by watching this video and the gameplay. But the first thing I want to talk about is if you should get it or not. Now, it's basically Call of Duty has been the same pretty much every past few years that it came out, and I I, I do like the series. I, I like it. I find it to be a fun series. But basically, what it is is it's kind of like a map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's basically the same thing with some new guns, um, some new game modes, and that's basically it. And that's, I, that, I'm sorry to say, but that's, that's what it is. And that's not to mean that I don't enjoy the game. I do enjoy the game. I do find it to be fun. The new game modes are awesome, and I'll talk about those in a second here. But, I mean, it's, it's basically a map pack, and, um... I'm going to compare this to Battlefield 4 real quick, and basically Battlefield 4, I find, is to be more, more, I don't want to describe it, it's, it's, it's a lot different than Call of Duty Ghosts, I mean, they're both good on their own levels, but I do find that Battlefield 4, I do like Battlefield 4 better, Call of Duty Ghosts is a good game, there is a lot of problems that they both need to work out, Battlefield 4, there were so many bugs and glitches on launch that it wasn't even enabled. funny. Like, you couldn't even play it until NVIDIA upgraded their drivers and a bunch of stuff like that, at least on the PC. I believe the Xbox was fine, but there was still a bunch of bugs and stuff, even on Xbox and PS3 and whatnot like that. So, there was uh, definitely a lot of bugs, and there still isn't Call of Duty Ghosts. Too. Like, bugs and glitches are something that are going to stay there. But it was unbelievable the amount that actually happened in um, Glitch Field 4, as some people were calling it. Um, but yeah, so, but, uh, COD Ghost, there hasn't been too many noticeable things. There has been a lot of problems with freezing and stuff like that on the PC. And they're on Xbox, too, like, some people couldn't even play it. And the, I know the servers were down. Um, for people that wanted to play it after the midnight release, the servers were down. There was a lot of problem with Infinity Ward. And Ghost servers, who knows why, but they were down. And you couldn't play it after you got the game at the midnight release, which some people were kind of sucked. And... That was bad, but if you did get the game early, the servers were up, I think, a few days before, so you could go on and play it on multiplayer and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so there's there's still a lot of glitches and stuff between both of them. None of them are perfect, but in my opinion, I do enjoy... I enjoy both the games, but if I had to decide, I would go with Battlefield 4, just because of the, the evolution of it all. I'm sure you've heard that a billion times between other YouTubers and stuff like that, but if you guys don't know what Levolution is, it's basically the fact that you can walk into a building with a grenade launcher, shoot the grenade launcher and blow a hole in the building, and walk right through. That's basically what Levolution is. The map changes and adapts as the game goes on, and I know there is like one map in Call of Duty or something like that where a flood comes in, and or if you get like a KEM strike or something like that, that it like changes the whole layout of the map. And I, that's not really what Levolution is. Levolution is, that's basically what I described. You walk, shoot a grenade launcher into a wall and it comes down. Or if you get a chopper and you run it into the side of the building, the whole building collapses. Like, stuff like that. That's what Levolution is. And I think that's a really awesome feature that Battlefield 4 has included. And, um, Battlefield 4 graphics engine just rapes, rapes Call of Duty's graphics engine by so much. It's just, it's, it's kind of insane. And I know some of you guys could care less about graphics, and I'm one of those people that does like a nice, crisp-looking game. And if you don't like a nice, crisp-looking game, I mean, it's, it's all personal preference, really. But I, I'm one of those people that does like a nice, crisp-looking game with all the textures perfect, and just things looking nice and sharp and stuff like that. And I know... 
Call of Duty Ghost on the PC is whoa, it's 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 bad. They didn't even care about the PC on this one. They just just trashed it basically. There's you can't do anything with Nvidia surround. You can only use one monitor. You can't even go higher than 1080p. There's but you guys really don't even care about PC. But um, most of you guys don't even have good enough PCs to run that. But um, yeah. So it, it's just they didn't care about that at all, really. And I feel it felt like they were kind of slacking on this game. They kind of threw together. I know there's new game modes like Extinction and um, Safeguard and stuff like that, and squads game modes and stuff. But I mean, that's 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 cool. They added a new game mode. Woo! The zombies had a new map the other time or last time or whatever. It's they they always add new game modes because Treyarch has zombies and that's that's what sells their game. Um, Infinity Ward announced that they sold one billion dollars, but that wasn't sell through. Okay, that was just they they sold it to Walmart or whoever they sold it to. They didn't actually sell it to consumers. As a Rockstar with Grand Theft Auto Five sold eighty million dollars to consumers, and they probably sold you know a billion dollars like Infinity Ward did. Walmart and whatnot, but they didn't actually they didn't actually buy that. They just gave it to Walmart and said, "Here you go, you gotta sell these games." And they didn't sell that many games. They really didn't, and they haven't released how many sell through um much money they made from sell throughs. But um, Rockstar did. They they had eight million, or whatever. Yeah, and that's I mean that's I I kind of feel like Call of Duty is kind of a dying series. No way. I feel like Battlefield really is taking it over. Battlefield is a lot better, but there is different qualities about both of them. Like, the map sizes in Battlefield 4 are so much larger than, um, Black, or not Black Ops, just Call of Duty's. Call of Duty's maps are small, they're action-packed, they're everything like that, and they're close quarters. As for Battlefield 4, or the Battlefield series in general, the, the maps are so much larger, you can get, like, choppers, ATVs, and boats, and stuff like that. And I mean, some people don't like the vehicles. I, I love the vehicles. That's all I do. I fly around in jets and stuff. But that, that's what I like doing in Battlefield 4 anyway. But in Call of Duty, it's close quarters. You can't do anything with vehicles. There's no vehicles whatsoever. You, it's just close quarters. You just do what you want. It's gunfights and knife fights. That's basically all it is. I mean, some people. that's what people enjoy about Call of Duty, and that's what people enjoy about Battlefield. Um, Battlefield, I find to be more kind of a hardcore thing. If you're really into that stuff, that's just, I find that to be harder to level up. And it's something you need to spend more time on and stuff like that. As you Call of Duty, it's just kind of, you know, you spend a week and you're Master Prestige and stuff like that. And that's, that's the factor of the game that if people buy it, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, like, uh, hardcore gamers and stuff that, um, like MLG events and stuff like that that go for Call of Duty more than Battlefield because Call of Duty is just that that game. Battlefield has been Battlefield is is one of the longer titles of the two, and Battlefield has more experience. There, I called it. I feel like Call of Duty needs to step up their game in general. Both companies, Treyarch and Infinity Ward, um, they both need new things. They need new items. They need something that makes people want to buy their game. And th what they're doing now is not cutting. It's been the same game for the past few years, and I know some people enjoy that. I'm. I don't really care about that. Really, I'm just saying that they need to do something that makes th to to spread to a wider audience. Something really awesome. Something really cool that they just need to do. And this is some World of War gameplay that I found. It's like four and four. I was just like sniping, screwing around, stuff like that, just to add it on because I wasn't really talking yet. <coughs> but sorry. Um, but I, they just need to change up what they're doing. They need new stuff in there, new new everything. They need to get a new graphics engine in there. What they did this year didn't cut it. Their graphics engine is still bad. And, I mean, if you just walk up to something, you can't even read it. That's just how bad it is. They just need to do more stuff. They, they, they're not cutting it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. If you guys feel the same way, tell me in the comment section below. What do you prefer, Battlefield or Call of Duty? I personally, I like both of them, but I do prefer Battlefield better. Um, Call of Duty Ghost, Ghost, Call of Duty Ghost. I, it is a nice game. There's some people that are gonna be hating on it because that's just the thing that they always do for Call of Duty. That's the thing that happens every year. They build up so much hype, and then the game so ah, oh, it's just trash. No, it's it's not trash. It's the same thing you had last year. You're just calling it trash because that's that's what it was. If they had something, if they changed something totally, they went back in time to a new era. They create a new era or something like that, so it's just not the same thing. 
<coughs> over and over again. And I mean, even if you if you did create a new era, it would still be that same old first person shooter that it always is. But you just need to add more stuff to that. You know, just I don't know, like. What, what, I mean, you could have some different types of maps and stuff in there, even like um, make a map on Mars or something like that. I don't know. You could be able to for your spawn. You're on two different planets or something like that. I don't know. Just I feel like you guys just need to Infinity Ward and Treyarch just need to do something different with their game. They need to change what's going on with their game, how the game is, or the, how the series is evolving, and um, completely by itself. And it's just. It's not cutting it. I personally, I'm gonna be buying all the Battlefields, and I'm gonna be buying all the Call of Duties because that's just, I'm a gamer, I'm a tech junkie. I like, I like seeing how that stuff is. I like seeing how it performs, and how I like it and stuff like that. I'm gonna buy all the new video games, and that's that's just who I am. And because I want to play all of them, I want to get all of them, just know how they feel. Which 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 ones I like more? I'm expanding my. Um, Expanding my palette, um, if you want to say, just because I want to try different games, different types of games, first person shooters, third person shooters, I don't know, alien games, something like that, zombies games, just different stuff, racing games, whatnot. I really do like the Need for Speed series, and you probably will be seeing some of that, um, on my channel shortly, but that's a side point now. I probably should have put some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay in here, but, you know, World at War is still a good classic, and I do like World at War. World at War... And the old Call of Duty games are the good ones before when they were original. They weren't just taking the old games. And another point I want to cover is how Black Ops 2. Okay, a, a map pack came out, and okay, so at least a few of the maps. Um, Nuketown 2025. That's the same map that they took from Black Ops. Studio, the same map they took from Black Ops. That all it is this firing range. What was another one? Um, there was one more. Well, they they just take old maps. They don't have enough new ideas. They they're not innovative over there in their offices. They don't. They just need to be more innovative, and that's basically the bottom line. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you dislike this video, be sure to hit the dislike button. And you guys share me share your opinions. Or share your opinions with me in the comment section down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. Tell me what you think. I want to know what you guys think. I really do. What do you prefer more? Call of Duty Ghosts? Battlefield? Xbox? PS3? Computer? I don't know. Adios, guys.